let's take a look at the dashboard, which is located above the log in most Myriad layouts. The role of the dashboard is to clearly show what is currently playing and what will be played in the near future whenever your Myriad system is in either Live Assist or Autofade active playout modes. The time remaining on the currently playing item is displayed to the right of the title information, and the bar slowly fills with color to indicate progress through the item. If a song has an intro time, this is displayed when the item starts playing, and as the item approaches the end, the countdown is displayed in a more obvious way. The title and artist information is displayed for each item in the dashboard along with an icon to show if it is a song, jingle, or other type of item. For items playing soon, the total duration is displayed along with an optional letter to indicate how the item ends. E for ends, F for fades. Finally, songs that have an intro set will display the intro time in brackets to the left of the overall duration. The way that Myriad Playout will segue into the next item is determined by the chain type, which is displayed to the right of the item in the dashboard. If the chain type is a green circle, the system will automatically segue into the next item in the log. If it is a red square, the system will stop playback at the end of the item and will not resume until the presenter presses the go button, this is called a stop chain type. Stop chain types are only available when in live assist mode. The go button is used to move on to the next item in the log. If there is an item currently playing, it will be faded out and the next item in the log will start. If you are on a stop chain type to allow you to present a live link, the go button is used to resume playout from the log. Myriad Playout has three playout modes. Live Assist is used for live shows with presenters. The presenter can choose when to present live links by adding stop chains to items in the log or dashboard. Autofade mode is used for all automated shows. All items will automatically segue into the next and the system will also manage back timing. Finally, when in standby mode, Myriad Playout is inactive and will not play anything from the log. You can freely switch between these modes, using either the drop-down option on the dashboard or the play mode buttons on the logs ribbon. If the next item in the log is set as a sweeper, indicated by a yellow plus sign, Myriad Playout will embed the item into the intro of the following item. This is represented on the dashboard with a circular countdown for the sweeper duration in the currently playing item in the dashboard. It is the same when a voice track is the next item in the log. Each item in the dashboard has a quick action button that allows you to view information about the item, to play the item immediately, to cue the item immediately or to dump the item. The number on the quick action button indicates the media player the item is playing in, or will play in. If you have multiple studios or Myriad Playout workstations, you can enable the Smart Transfer function which allows you to transfer live playout to another studio or workstation. The timing bar provides useful information about how much time is remaining in the hour, the date and time, show name, and how much under or over time, you are to the next absolute time marker, or the end of the hour. When running in live assist mode, the timing bar also tells you the time remaining to the end of the next item in the log with a stop chain type. You now know the main features found on the dashboard and how it can be used in live and automated shows. For more video tutorials and help articles, visit our help portal using the link below or check out our YouTube channel. Thanks for watching and happy broadcasting.